Welcome to another MTS Industry Channel production. It's war is time again and today we're in Taichung, the heart of Taiwan's machine tool industry. Because Warris Pump does not only manufacture in-house pumps at their headquarters in Taipei, but also has a wide range of models for industrial applications. And in the most recent history, the company has been awarded with several awards, amongst them the 2019 Potential Middle Stand Award and a total of five Taiwan Excellence Awards. Now the product that we want to showcase today, the TPRKE Series Immersible Pump, is the product that has gotten them their most recent Taiwan Excellence 2020 Award. Now let's find out a little bit more about the key features of the TPRKE series with Simon Yen, the manager of the sales department at Warburs. Simon, welcome back to the show. How are you? I am great, I'm doing great. How are you today? I'm great. So you came all the way from Taipei down to Taichung today, right? For yes. this show. Yes. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. So we want to talk about industrial pumps today, especially the TPRKE series. But before we do that, maybe you can give us a short introduction to uh, immersible pumps in general. What are immersible pumps? Okay, uh, the pump consists of two main components, uh, the motor and the pump unit. Uh, the immersible pump is designed for mounting on the top of the tank and the pump unit immerse in, uh, it immerse in the liquid to be pumped. So the feature is safe space and the easy installation and replacement. Okay, so you save space, especially compared to horizontal pumps, right? Yes. And it's easier to install. Now, when we talk about the TPRKE series, we want to talk about the main features first. So. Give us a, a short introduction of the TPRKE series. Okay, the first and most important feature is uh, what we call DBT drain bag tank design. Drain bag tank, okay. And uh, this uh, new uh, double seal pump body structure can effectively ensure the, the remain the water liquid in the tank. So even if the shaft seal is broken and starts to leak, uh, you don't even need to replace it for temporary. Uh -huh. So basically it's kind of like a fallback mechanism that uh, even if the seal is broken, it's leaking there, you still won't have any leakage into the machine, into yes. the machine tool yes. itself. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I could keep it running for a while, even if the, the seal is broken, I can still keep my machine running, keep my production going on. Is yes. that correct? Yes. Okay, yes. but after a while, probably I would have to replace it eventually, right? Yes. So then, when it comes to replacement, we also have another benefit of the TPRKE series. Yeah, now we'll come to our second features. Uh, we use a cartridge type sharp sears. Uh, it's much easier uh, to replace compared to the general sharp seal. The sharp seal can see the many parts, like a stationary part, rotating part, spring, o-ring, and so on. But uh, if you use cartridge type seal, you just need to replace one cartridge type unit. Okay, so basically with this design, you combined all those small components uh, into one cartridge, which makes it much easier to replace it, correct? Yes. Okay, and I think we have a demonstration ready to show the audience out there how easy it actually is to replace that seal. So why don't we just do it? Roll it in. All right, Simon. So, uh, we see a lot of parts here. What are we seeing exactly? Okay, so uh, this part we want to uh, show you if you want to replace a general shaft seal, you have to take all this stage apart just for replace one shaft seal. Okay, so we've got this uh, shaft seal here and I would have to disassemble all those parts yes. and then reassemble all those small components for the seal, the conventional general seal. Yes. And now we want to compare that to the TPRKE series cartridge type shaft yes. seal. Yes. So here we want to invite our after sales manager Charles okay. Wu. After sales manager Charles Wu, after sales manager here in Taichung, right? Yes. Okay. And you will also join us later for the Q&A session. Yes. Okay. Excellent. But now we want to showcase the cartridge type shaft, shaft seal. So, uh, first you, ha you have to remove the, the coupling guard first, mm -hmm. and the second, remove the motor. Okay, you remove the motor. you loosen up the 
three of uh, set screws. All right. Then you can remove the cartridge type seal. Just got to unlock it with a tool. That's a standard tool. Everyone has this type of tool, right? Yes. Okay. So this took like a minute. It'll take a few minutes. And there it is. Ta-da. So that's the cartridge, if you want, right? The seal. Yeah, we also have a patent on this cartridge. Okay, so this is patented. Okay, excellent. So this took us, obviously, a bit uh, less than it would take in reality, because we have to unscrew this, unscrew some more screws, but a few minutes, five minutes. Maybe, maybe 10 minutes. Maybe 10 minutes. Okay, excellent. So uh, that's it for the cartridge type, but we also want to talk about the motor of the TPRKE series, because obviously a motor is very important for every pump, for the pump performance especially. Yes. So why don't we just walk over to the TPRKE over here. So what can you tell us about the motor on the TPRKE series? Okay, it's an IC motor, so if you have uh, watched our uh, SQ videos, so you probably already know we have uh, ability and we have equipment to uh, develop our own high efficiency motors and uh, our laboratory ha also have a uh, TUV and TAF uh, certificate so we can make sure our test standard is exactly the same as the global standards. Okay, so you've got international standards, international quality standards and you just mentioned the TEF and TÜV Nord certified laboratory but I think we also have some certificates for this TPRKE series itself, right? Yes, we also have a CE and ROHA certificates for electrical safety and uh, hydrogen water supply. Uh, we always uh, focus on reducing the environment effects and it's also our uh, so, uh, cooperative social responsibility. All right, excellent. So uh, very safe and environmentally friendly industrial pumps. Yes. Okay, excellent. Simon, I think we've covered the basics of the TPRKE series, so thank you for that. But you will join us later during the Q&A session, right? Absolutely. And today we'll be answering questions, uh, after sales service questions regarding industrial pumps in general, but also, of course, about the TPRKE series. Yes. So again, thanks uh, for being here today and talking about the TPRKE series, Simon, and see you later. See you later. Okay, bye-bye. And in our next segment, we want to take an even closer look at the TPRKE series and also compare it to other immersible pumps made by Warris. And for this part, I will have a chat with Mark Lin from the marketing department at Warris. Mark, also welcome back to the show. Yeah. So how are you doing? Ready to I tell us? I feel excited. Feeling excited about yeah. talk, talking about the TPRKE series? Yes. All right, let's do it. But before we talk more about the TPRKE series, why don't you give us an introduction to all your uh, immersible industrial pumps? Yeah, of course. So first, let us enter industrial pump with a TPH, which is a horizontal centrifugal pumps. Okay, so it's a horizontal design, clearly. Yeah, and also we manufacture and design the motor by ourselves since 1991. Okay, and, and then, then we, we move on. Comes to uh, immersible pump TPHK mm -hmm. at 2003. Okay, so that was the first immersible Warwars pump. Yes, right. All right. And then now we have uh, also a TPR at 2015, and that's a non immersible vertical pumps. Okay, so it's slightly different because obviously it's not immersible. And, uh, and then we move on to the TPRK. And we have a TPRK is a. Uh, higher pressure version of a uh, TPHK and it's a with a drain back system. Mm -hmm. And also the TPRKE, the E signifies? Uh, drain back system. Okay, the drain back system. So that's the difference. The, the old version didn't have the drain back system, yeah. which is now implemented. Yes. Okay, and I'm, uh, I think we also have a demonstration exactly for, for this uh, prepared, right? Yes. So why don't we have a look at uh, what we've prepared? Maybe while we are getting ready, what, what do we see here? So, th there are two demonstrating pumps here mm -hmm. with, with the broken seals. Okay, so you've deliberately, deliberately broke the seal, yep. right? So we can see what happens when there's something wrong with the seal. Yeah, so at, at this one close to me is the TPRK, the mm -hmm. old version. Okay. And the one close to you is the TPRKE. Okay. And we, we, we got to open the Operate the pump and you see what's the difference. So with the TPRKE, now we have the drain 
back tank design, right? Yeah. So the TPRK E, you can see the, the water is, is uh, spreading inside the water tank. It won't cause any mess around your machines or your system. And then we, we look at the TPRK, the old version, the, the water is, is leaking outside of the, the, the water tank. It will mess around your, your system and your machines. Right, so with the old system, without the drain back tank, in such a situation, the water flows into the machine, the machine tool. Yeah. So you cannot keep on operating, you cannot keep on machining because water is leaking inside, right? Yeah, exactly. So, and with the TPRKE, it is contained within this tank. Yeah. Even though the seal is leaking, it's, it's broken, yeah. so the water is leaking, but it's guided into the tank. Yeah, right. Okay, okay, excellent. Thank you. I think we can turn it off now. So yeah, very clearly this upgrade is, is crucial because like we mentioned earlier, if you run into this problem before you would have to stop the machine, stop your production and fix the problem first. Yeah. Whereas with the TPRKE, uh, you, you, if even you don't have to uh, change the, the pump right away, but you can change it later. Okay, yeah. so you will maybe have a slightly lower efficiency, right? Yeah, of course. But you can still use it for the time being. And then once yes. you're done with whatever machining job you're on, yep. you can uh, replace the, the seal. Yes, right. Okay, excellent. So now that we've talked about the TPRK E series and all its advantages, let's move on also to your customer services because that's a crucial part of your job and also why people, why uh, customers choose you, choose yeah. Warriors. So maybe you can walk us through the process of helping, helping them choose the right industrial pump because we just saw you have a wide range of different pumps. So how do you help them find the one that meets their requirements? So there are four important things to, to choose the right pump. First is like what, what type of pump. As, you, as we said before, there's a horizontal pump or you want to immersible pump. Mm -hmm. And second, you have to know what rated water pressure and flow you need. And third is the, the type of motor. And lastly is the dimension of the pump. Okay, so basically four pillars, four main uh, specifications that you will check and then maybe you can already narrow it down to some models. But maybe you can give us some uh, examples, some real life examples. What could this look like? So we've yeah. got those parameters, we've got those characteristics. And how do you help me choose the right pump yeah, then? So, so in many cases, our customers don't know which pump they want to use. So first, I would recommend to com communicate with our sales team very closely. They are experts of pumps. For, for one example, like in machine tools, the spindle cooling system, they, the, the water pressure is a parity. So they usually choose the pump with uh, three to five bars. In other case, it would be 20 to 70 bars. And also in other cases, like uh, in the, at the bottom of the machine tools, there's a lot of me metal particles and mm -hmm. metal trash, which needs a, a bigger water flow to take them away. So, so usually you need about one bar. Okay, yeah. higher pressure. Uh, high, high water flow. Yeah, higher water flow, sorry. I'm not the expert, you're yeah, the expert, that's why you are here. All right, so the Warriors team is always happy to pick the perfect pump for every individual customer. Yeah. So what if I had someone, or maybe there is someone out there thinking, hmm, I've got multiple applications, or maybe I've got two different applications, but I'm gonna use the same pump. Is that feasible? Yes, it is feasible, but mm -hmm. we don't recommend this because with a bigger motor and bigger pumps, it costs more budgets. And budgets is the customer cares mostly about. So I recommend you to communicate with our sales team closely and they will choose the best suitable pump for you. Okay, excellent. That might be the TPRKE series or another yeah. immersible pump yes. from Warriors. Now, I think we've covered the TPRKE series pretty much, but let's talk a little bit more about Warriors and the advantages of choosing Warriors as your pump supplier. So, as a member of the marketing yeah. team, Mark, why should I choose Warriors? Sell it to me. So, first, we have a short lead time and we have a 30 days of lead time that after you place the order to us and second we have a competitive price and third we have a tremendous production and quality control we test 100 percent of our pumps 
before we deliver to our customer and to make sure they have a, a perfect fine pump. Okay, yeah. perfect. Mark, thank you very much so far, but you will join us as well for the Q&A session later on, right? Yeah, right. And we'll be talking about some uh, common issues that uh, some of your customers run into with uh, industrial pumps. And of course, we'll deliver the answers and tell everyone how to fix those. Yep. Okay, so I'll see you later. And we have one more part before the Q&A session where we want to talk about other applications for immersible pumps made by Warris. Don't go anywhere, we'll be back shortly. Okay, and now it's time to introduce my next guest today, Mr. James Huang. James, come over here. James, welcome to the show. Thanks, Camille. Happy to be here. And I'm happy that you are here because we want to talk a little bit more about your industrial pumps. Now in this segment, even though James's English is pretty good, but when it comes to some technical terms, it might get a little bit tricky. So he has decided that he'll be answering my English questions in Chinese, but we have subtitles for you. So you'll understand everything that James is saying. Now, James, you are the sales manager here in Taichung. Maybe you can talk a little bit about your position, about your work, about your job here. 是的我在台湾这边是负责台中的那个业务部的经理 帮他选到比较正确的棒布，用在他比较对的位置。因为往往常常遇到的问题是说，客人买的东西事实上不见得是他要的，所以我们会在这样子的经验累积，让客人可以在比较短的时间内选到他要的东西。Okay, excellent. Now, if you watch the first episode, you will know that the headquarters of Warris is up in Taipei, close to Taipei, but we're in Taichung now. And from what I understand, this uh, branch here was established because Warris wanted to extend their product portfolio to industrial pumps, right? Maybe you can talk a little bit about that. Yes,是的。我们台中公司目前主要是负责工业用棒布的销售和售后服务。那因为我们这一次的主题是工具机的部分。那工具机在台湾来说，主要的居多是落在台湾的中部和南部。那在中部来说，其实大部分还是在中部了哦。那但是在中部来说，我们会这个据点会比较直接能服务到我们百分之大概会有百分之九十的居多在这个位置，所以
I'm good.、Uh, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Hey, hello, Brian. Hi, James. How are you? Hey, hey. Hey, so Brian, first question: Why don't you talk a little bit about your relationship with walrus? What have your experiences been like?、Uh, we work with the walrus pound for past forty、uh, years. It is a long-term relationship,、uh, so it's quite good for us. So, what type of machines do you use、uh, walrus pumps on? We use the walrus pump on our, our products, such as、uh, vertical turning lathes, horizontal turning lathes, and vertical and horizontal machining center. Okay, so a wide range of different、uh, machines. So you must、uh, know their products very well by now. So, what was the main reason why Yoji chose walrus pumps over other competitors? Why we choose the walrus pump? Because、uh, their quality is very good. As after service is great, and the most important thing is the price is reasonable. So this is why we choose a walrus pump on our products. All right. So basically, three main reasons: quality, then the after sale service, and of course, a very competitive price, right? Yes. All right, Brian. Thank you very much for joining us、uh, for this short interview. Thank you so much. All right. See you later, mate. Bye bye. Bye. See you. Bye. Okay, and we move on to Tongtai.、Uh, Mr. Sunny Young from Tongtai should be on the line now. Sunny, can you hear us? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, excellent. How Welcome are you? Welcome to、here? the show, and thank you for joining us. Yeah, my pleasure. All right, so Tongtai has been working with Warras for quite a while already, right? For how long exactly? Uh, we work with、uh, Warras is around thirty years. Oh, thirty years. Okay, that's a long time.、Yeah. So you must know a lot about their products and about the company, I'm sure. Yeah. All right. So we all know the Warras from the Warras company logo. So, what is your impression of the brand Warras, and what does Warras, the company, and the brand stand for? Warras is、uh, famous. So not only the excellent quality and after service, but also the innovative R and D. All right. So excellent quality, after sales service, and、uh, R and D and innovations are the keywords here. Yes. All right. So I have one more question for you, Sunny. It's a slightly unusual one. So if we、uh, imagine Warras was a person, how would you describe that person, the personality?、Uh, I'd like to say positive. Uh, optimistic, friendly, and kind. Okay, positive, optimistic, friendly, and kind. Nice to hear, the James, right? Oh yes, of course. <laughs> so,、um, but it's not only about the personality. When it comes to the products, I hope your experience has also been this,、uh, that Warras is very professional. Yeah, my opinion is、uh, a bit by road. Pay attention to the detail. All right, paying attention to details—that's very important, obviously, especially in the manufacturing industry. Sunny,、exactly. thank you very much for joining us. Yeah, thank you too. Okay, see you later. Bye bye. See you bye. See you. Bye bye. All right, those were two customers of Warras here in Taiwan. But don't go anywhere. We're coming back. With a Q and A session very soon. And here we are with today's Q and A session. And as you can see, I'm being joined by Mark, Simon, and Charles, whom we saw earlier today during the cartridge type shaft seal demonstration. Charles is the after sales manager for Warris here in Taichung. Charles, maybe you also introduce yourself real quick to the audience. Hi, everyone. I'm Charles Wu. As you mentioned,、uh, coming up, I am responsible for after sales service. I have been working for Warras for over 19 years. 19 years! Wow, that's a lot of experience with industrial pumps. So it's perfect that you are joining us because we want to answer some of the most common issues people run into 
with industrial pumps. So let's get right to it. Now, the first question has to do with leakage. So Charles, what are the main causes of mechanical seal leakage and how can I solve it? Actually, mechanical seal leakage is quite a common problem of pumps. Then why does it happen? There are two possibilities. One is the pump is running without liquid. Another reason might be the liquid or coolant contamination. Mm -hmm. For example, by metal filings or machining chips, mm -hmm. we strongly suggest the users to always ensure that there is enough and uh, clean liquid in the tank. Okay, so uh, it sounds pretty simple to just make sure that there's enough liquid, but apparently some people tend to forget about it. So what do you recommend? How often should I be checking that my liquid is A, that it's enough liquid and that it's clean? I would suggest at least one day, one time. Okay, so every day, whenever you are using it, whenever you're having some machining operations, at the end of the day, make sure that there's enough liquid still in the tank, yes. in, the, in the pump system. All right. Now another issue some users run into is an unsteady pump performance. You don't get the 100% that you would expect from a walrus pump. So what might be the cause for this? Yes, if the pump performance is not stable, there is basically two main possibilities. Mm -hmm. A, there might be not enough liquid in okay. the tank. Again, not enough liquid, so always check your tank for enough liquid, okay? Two, uh, another reason, mm -hmm. uh, maybe some air trapped in the suction or the discharge line. So in this situation, you have to add liquid into the tank and or release the vent valve to get the air out. All right, so if there's not enough liquid, you need to refill it. And if there's air trapped inside of the pump, you need to get it out and then the pump should get back to 100% pump performance, right? Yes. Okay, excellent. Now, another issue some people run into, it sounds very simple, but uh, still people are having trouble with fixing it. The pump is running, you can hear that it's running, but there is no water, there's no water flow. What could be the reason for that, Simon? Uh, first, I will check a water supply, and then I will check a pump inlay is broken by something like machine chips. And uh, uh, make sure, uh, always check uh, the, the water level is not too low, because the dry run will probably will uh, make the shaft seal damage. So if you are worried about the leakage, you can choose our uh, TPRK E series. It's your best solution. Okay, best solution because you have the double seal and you have the drain back tank, right? Yes. Okay, so another thing when it comes to pumps uh, and motors in general, you don't want overheating, you don't want too high temperature. So what if uh, I bought one of your pumps and that's exactly what I'm experiencing, overheating. Uh, what could be the reason for that and how do I fix that? Uh, probably the voltage is too low or the viscosity of liquid is too high because mm -hmm. some customers they will add some currents and uh, lubricants so that will probably cause the uh, viscosity to make too high. Okay, so you have to be very careful and you have to know what kind of uh, uh, coolant or liquid you add because yes. that might also affect the motor performance and the pump performance. Yes. All right. And another quite common issue that uh, you get in the after sales service inquiries is um, that uh, the user installs the pump in a wrong way, so the rotation direction is wrong because I think every pump is different, so sometimes it's clockwise, sometimes it's anti-clockwise, right? Yes. Uh, because if uh, rotation direction is wrong, that will might influence the pump performance. And uh, because it depends on the pump, some pump they are designed for uh, clockwise, some pump for anti-clockwise, like TPRK E series is okay. anti-clockwise. Okay, so the TPRK E is anti-clockwise, so it's very important when you're installing. So how do I prevent uh, uh, this mistake, I just pay attention to the instruction manual first of all, yes, right? Yes, uh, but we also have a stick on the green cover. Okay, yeah. to make sure that uh, people assemble it the right way or install it the right way. Yes. All right. Now, what about low pressure? Some people might experience low pressure, low pressure while the water supply is positive. So what's going on there, Mark? Yeah, so usually you, you, you're facing the low pressure is because your system needs 
more pressure than you, the pump you actually choose. So the best answer is to choose the right pump with the right pressure. Okay, so uh, maybe some people might use your pump initially on the right machine and then they think, oh, now I need a pump for a different machine, I'll just use it on that one. But as you mentioned, for different applications you need a specific pump, so that might yeah. be the reason why they run into such a, such a problem, right? Yeah, right. Okay. Now, what about the mating faces for, for the mechanical seal? There are different materials and sometimes people are asking, so what kind of material can I choose or what should I choose? Yeah, so, so we have a different mating faces of material. Uh, we have a silicon carbide, tungsten carbide and carbon. And the secondary we have uh, EPDM, Viton and HMBR. The different application will need a different option of uh, materials. Okay, so again, it depends on the applications. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and we have one more question. Uh, one more question, which might seem very simple and maybe funny for some people out there, but uh, it actually is an issue for some people. So, um, the pump, I plugged it in. Yeah. It should be running, but nothing's happening. Yeah. Thank you for bringing out this question because this happens a lot. Okay. Uh, for example, in it's happened in TPRK or other industrial pump. You have to make sure the voltage is right. All right. Well, that's it for the Q&A session today. But before we end the show, Mark, why don't you yes. sum up one more time the key features of the TPRKE series immersible pump? Yeah, so TPRKE, we have a college seal, uh, also inflation motor. And most importantly, we have a drain back system. So TPRKE is a customer oriented product and Waters is an expert of water pump. If you have anything with need a problem with a water pump or your machine tools or your system, you can contact us with email or give us a call. That's right. If you have any questions about the Taiwan Excellence 2020 winner, the TPRKE immersible pump from Waris or other Waris products, contact them anytime. The team is happy to help and to give you suggestions for what type of pump to choose. Okay, gentlemen, thank you very much for joining us today and thank you out there for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>